Hey everybody, this is Surex Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of the Combat Codex. The series where I break down 10 behind the scenes and lore facts about Mortal Kombat characters. Today's video is going to be about another one of the cameo fighters in MK1, this time Tremor. Tremor has been in probably about three games, including MK1, uh, but he's definitely a fan favorite character and he's definitely climbed the ranks in terms of ninjas in the recent years as his popularity has boomed. So with that said, let's break down these 10 behind the scenes and lore facts about Tremor in Mortal Kombat that you probably didn't know. Fact number one, Tremor is a member of the Black Dragon, a terrorist organization infamous for black market weapons deals, assassinations, and being a certified pain in Sonya Blade's ass. Tremor appears to be a high-ranking member of the clan, perhaps even second in command to Kano. In Special Forces, Tremor appears as the second to last boss fight, just before Kano, and in Snowblind, Tremor is one of Kano's enforcers and a prominent villain throughout the animated film. Fact number two. During the development of MK Trilogy, an art book accidentally misrepresents Rain in many different ways. As mentioned in Rain's episode of the Combat Codex, Rain was mistakenly coloured orange in this art book, and his backstory was that of a former Lin Kuei warrior. Tremor would appear a couple years later, sparking rumours that Tremor was meant to appear in Trilogy, before being pushed back for some unknown reason. Whether or not this backstory was truly intended for Tremor is unconfirmed. In fact, Ed Boon has even stated that Tremor was never intended to appear before Special Forces, but there is no official word from John Tobias or anyone else on the team. Fact number three. As mentioned before, Tremor's first appearance is in Special Forces in 2000. Tremor was not playable in this game, however, and would not be playable until Mortal Kombat 9 in 2011, although he was not a member of the main roster. In the game's PSP port, the Challenge Tower has several different levels, one featuring a reskin of the UMK3 ninja skin called Tremor, who was only playable in this one level. It wouldn't be until Mortal Kombat X, 15 years after Tremor's debut, that he would receive his first playable main roster position as the final DLC character in MKX's first combat pack. Fact number four. As mentioned in the last fact, Tremor made his playable debut in MKX as the final DLC character for the first combat pack. The reason Tremor made such a splash in Mortal Kombat X's DLC alongside a 3D era legacy character like Tanya, as well as Jason Voorhees and the goddamn Predator, was fan demand. Before MKX released, there was a massive fan movement, including tweets to Ed Boon, petitions online, and an outcry for Tremor to return. It was not as bad as the Molina outcry for MK11, but it was pretty big. There was comments on every Ed Boon post, there was people tagging petitions for Tremor, it was all over the place. There was fan art for Tremor, it was teased heavily, and then before MKX released, the combat pack as well as Tremor was revealed. All of this fan demand encouraged NRS to take the risk, similar to Scarlet in MK9. Fan demand led to a virtually non-existent character being added as DLC, with a new design, a new story, a new moveset, and now a new fanbase. Fact number five. Tremor would also appear in the Mortal Kombat X comics, alongside Kano, Jarek, and Tazia, to assist Kotal Khan in the battle against the Shokan. Tremor debuts in this comic prior to releasing an MKX, showing off his new design and a hint of his power's extent. Tremor rocks the earth, killing and shaking some of the Shokan army, but not enough to stop them. After this, the Black Dragon would be imprisoned by Kotal Khan, but Kano would escape, apparently leaving Tremor behind. This would not sit well with Tremor, who in Mortal Kombat X holds a grudge and intends to kill Kano for his betrayal. Fact number six. In the timeline where Tremor destroys corrupted Shinnok and saves Urpharon, it is revealed that Tremor has a connection to the mysterious dream world, only ever mentioned by Nightwolf and Freddy Krueger in the past. Tremor's time in the dream world would empower him further, making him a demigod with powers to rival Raiden and Fujin. As this ending is non-canon, we, we are never given an opportunity to explore demigod Tremor. Fact number seven. 
Tremor's personality in Mortal Kombat X may come as a surprise when looking at the tall mass of rock and hunk muscle. Despite his gravelly voice and literal stone muscles, like this man has muscles made out of actual rocks, Tremor often has lines of dialogue that paint him as kind of a nice guy. Tremor reveals that he is a fan of Johnny Cage films, making him one of two characters who do, the other being Johnny Cage, and Tremor is also the tallest Earth Roamer on MKX's roster, and in the top 5 tallest characters on the whole MKX roster in general. Fact number 8. Tremor returns in Mortal Kombat 1 as a DLC cameo, making him the second ever character to be DLC more than once, the other being Rain. Tremor gets a new design in this game, wearing the classic arcade ninja attire, which isn't actually Tremor's classic costume as he wears the UMK3 design. Tremor also sports an entirely rocky skin this time, which isn't what we've seen in the past, as previously Tremor only had rocky hands and a chest, but the rest of his body is pure muscle. Tremor also introduces variations to the cameo system, a feature introduced in MKX. Tremor's first playable appearance. Tremor's variations in MKX and MK1 are both Aftershock, Metallic, and Crystalline. Fact number 9. Tremor plays a pretty important role in the animated film Snowblind, playing a major antagonist in the film alongside Kano and Shang Tsung. During the events of Snowblind, the Black Dragon reigns supreme and King Kano rules all. One of the few surviving heroes of the past, Kenshi, is a wandering warrior who encounters Tremor terrorizing the locals in a village, and challenges Tremor. This does not go well, and Tremor mercilessly beats Kenshi within an inch of his life, in a scene that is difficult to watch. But Kenshi does survive, and later, after training with Sub-Zero, Kenshi would confront Tremor once more, this time defeating and killing the Earth Elemental. Fact number 10. Tremor has only appeared three times in the games, so understandably he has a very small multimedia presence outside the games. As mentioned above, Tremor only appears in the Mortal Kombat X comics by Sean Kittleson, and then again in the animated movie Snowblind, voiced by Imari Williams. Tremor is not slated to return in any films or comics as of right now. Well guys, that brings us to the end of this video about Tremor. Let me know down below your favourite fact about Tremor, and if you were hyped for him to return back in MKX. And also let me know in the comments who you'd like to see in next week's Combat Codex. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.